your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. The rate of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS, has been declining as sleep recommendations have changed. But as more babies are sleeping on their backs, another concern is becoming more apparent. Siouxland News reporter Katie Link has more. We must understand that the principal solution to SIDS is to keep your baby sleeping on their back at night, but we also understand that that isn't without some consequences. Dr. Ralph Reeder is a board-certified neurosurgeon at CNOS. He has seen more cases of plagiocephaly, otherwise known as flathead syndrome, in 20 to 60 percent of infants. It usually starts within two to three weeks of birth. It peaks out about four months. Flat spots occur early because babies' heads are not yet formed and are very soft. And since a baby's head is mainly made out of water, gravity will distort the head if it's left in the same position. Most cases leave a cosmetic deformity which can be treated, but Dr. Reeder worries there may be some other risks for some children. There are some studies that suggest that kids with severe skull deformations have some retardation in either mental development or, or motor skills. In severe cases, a doctor may prescribe a cranial orthotic or a helmet. Most mild cases will resolve by age four after babies start setting up at three to four months, uh, that pressure is gone and in mild cases then the skull rounds out as a result of that. But if there are moderate or severe deformities, those deformities can last into life. Dr. Reeder says preventing and treating the flat spots can be simple. You want to change uh, how you're holding them, so you change from your right arm to your left arm. Other recommendations include supervised tummy time, avoid leaving babies in car seats, plenty of personal cuddling and cradling time, and alternating crib positions. And you also want to provide some uh, visual stimulation away from the flat side so the baby will naturally look that way and, and assist in their own uh, treatment. For Siouxland News, I'm Katie Ling.